Fluorodeoxyglucose PET CT in differentiated thyroid cancer patients with low thyroid globulin levels by Libin Cattell. Background. Up to 20% of patients with DTC develop recurrent disease. Serum thyroglobulin level measurements are used as a marker for recurrent disease and are interpreted alongside nuclear imaging. Current guidelines suggest a diagnostic whole body scan can be useful in patients with intermediate to high risk of recurrent disease. If a whole body scan is negative and thyroglobulin levels are above 10 nanograms per milliliter, then a PET CT is recommended. In this study, PET CT was used instead of a whole body scan as a first line nuclear imaging modality in patients suspected of persistent or recurrent disease. Aims of the study To evaluate usefulness of PET-CT in patients with low detectable thyroglobulin levels suspicious for persistent or recurrent DTC. Methods This was a retrospective case series study in which the results of 27 patients who underwent a PET-CT as first-line imaging modality for suspected recurrent disease was evaluated. Results in 14 patients, positive lesions were found, 13 of which were true positive cases. In 13 patients, the PET-CT was negative, 4 of which were true negative. 22 patients underwent a neck ultrasound prior to their PET-CT. The ultrasound showed suspicious findings in 8 patients. Of these patients, 5 had positive PET-CTs and the presence of the disease was confirmed in all 5 cases. 3 patients had a negative PET-CT. Thyroglobulin levels became undetectable or low detectable in all three cases after a wait and see strategy. In 14 patients, the neck ultrasound was negative. The PET CT was positive in 8 of these patients and 7 of these were considered true positive. Conclusion and importance This study suggests that PET CTs might be an accurate first line diagnostic imaging modality in patients with detectable thyroglobulin after treatment of DTC and potentially useful in detecting DTC in patients with a negative neck ultrasound. However, prospective research comparing all three imaging modalities is needed. To read the full article, please follow the link provided or scan the QR code.